Hi students. Yes, I am your Sanmesh sir. Today, I am going to tell one thing, one such a beautiful thing. See, listen here. It is at the time of 1896 to 99 in the Mysore dynasty. Uh, one of the chief engineer called his name as Lavonier. He wants to see the Shivana Samudra Falls. which is made by the kaveri river why because he wants to see he wants to enjoy the beautiness of that falls so he decided to go to visit that shivana samudra falls as he want one nice sunday at a evening time he used to see he used to walk with uh, their subordinates and go to the shivana samudra falls to enjoy the beautiness of that shivana samudra falls okay he go to that falls and he watching the uh, the water falls how it is falling it is falls with a very high pressure and he thinking somewhat in in his mind about to use the energy of that waterfall so then he was going to the going to meet the divan of that time of the mysore the sir m vishweshwaraya and he told about his plan to use that water energy the waterfall energy come from the shivana samudra falls and the sir m vishweshwaraya has accepted his plan what the plan it is it is nothing but to generate the electricity by using the waterfall okay so at the time of 1896 to 99 still in karnataka or in mysore dynasty there is no electricity but due to the this plan due to the this project the first in 1905 at the time of 1905 first the electricity hydro electricity power station will be started at the shivana samudra which is the the river forms this shivana samudra falls kaveri river forms this shivana samudra falls and at the 1905 the bangalore city which get first electricity why i told this all about this because today i am going to discuss your yours one of the most important chapter for your examination and also for your future studies it is nothing but the chapter electricity electricity it is a part of physics which deals with charges basically electricity have a two parts one is static electricity that is nothing but electrostatics and under one is current electricity what is static electricity see the name itself says static static means constant stable the static electricity deals with the static charges static charges but current electricity deals with the moving charges that is flow of charges so this static electricity are nothing but electrostatics will be studied in your higher classes but for your syllabus is there only current electricity so we shall study about current electricity what is current electricity what it deals with so see listen here we have to know what is the difference between static electricity what it is deals with and current electricity it is deals with the insulators only insulators but current electricity deals with conductors current electricity deals with conductors what is the difference what is insulators what is conductors as you know already in your previous chapters in metals and non metals what are insulators and what are conductors an object which conduct the current it is called it as the conductor an object which does not conduct the current it is called it as insulator what happens here in a static electricity all the charges will be deposited at the one point of an any insulator for example i am taking comb here 
the all the charges are deposited at the one point but as in the case of conductor all the charges are moving why because they conduct the electricity there is a flow of charges why the charges are will be flown because these are the metals all the conductors are the metals but all the insulators are non metals here one exception is there that in in the insulator graphite it is the one of the non metal but it conducts the current so all the conductors are the metals but one exception that is graphite graphite conducts the current but it is an a conductor but it comes under non metals okay what happens in the insulator what happens in the conductors conductors are all are the metals and insulators are are the non metals yes we have to come across with the atomic theory so here the in the metals every metal when you are going to see the structure atomic structure of a metal it has the free electrons but you are going to compare in the case of the non metals the non metals doesn't has any free electrons these free electrons are the helpful for the pass flow of the charges in the insulator there is a no free electrons therefore there is a no conduction of the current they all the charges are deposited at the one point but in the case of the conductor the charges are will be flowed why because it has free electrons in the outer shell okay see now we are going to study about a current electricity what is current electricity under that first one is electric current electric current that is the denoted by the letter called i capital i what is electric current the rate of flow of electric charges in a unit time is called as electric current the rate of flow of electric charges in a unit time is called as electric current that is denoted by the letter called i that is i is equal to the rate of charges flow of charges divided by the time t that is time in a unit time here charges charges will be denoted by the letter called q and the time will be denoted by the letter called t that is i is equal to q by t here question arises how the charges will be flow through an a conductor how the charges will be flow through an a conductor imagine a pipe imagine a pipe okay let us imagine this is an a transparent pipe a plastic pipe okay so you have to so here is water supply is also there you have to imagine that here the pipe contains some water supply can we see the flow of water through the transparent water pipe can we see yes we can see the flow of water drops or water molecules through the pipe then that's like you know that's way in a conductor the charges are also will be moved what are the charges charges are nothing but these are the fundamental particles of an atom it may be a positive charge or it may be a negative charge as we have already studied in atomic theory there are three types of fundamental particles are present in an atom one is a proton second one is a neutron third one is a electron so these electric charges these charges it may be a positive charge or may be a negative charge these charges are responsible for the conduction of the current when any so i am here considering a one circuit here i am considering one circuit take an electric cell or a battery it will be connected with an a lamp
and it will be connected to the one end of the one end of the bulb will be connected to the positive end of the battery and another end will be connected to the negative end of the battery what happens here this is the electric cell this contains this is a chemical cell it's, it has the charges the conductor it is a good conductor it is a made up of a metal it may be a copper wire or it may be aluminium wire whether it may be so the charges which are present here will be flow through the conductor flow through the conductor this direction why because the if we are considering here positive charges these are atta attracted by the negative charges these charges will flow through the conductor in the pathway in the in the flowing pathway there is an obstacle it is nothing but an a bulb this bulb contains an a filament in this filament it has a low resistance and so when the charges will flow through this filament that filament going to be heated when a metal going to be heated it radiates the light isn't it so when it is heated it radiates the light and we get the light and the continuous flow of the charges will be continuous towards negative end so this is nothing but the flow of electricity and the flow of charges through a conductor through a simple circuit then what is the circuit then what is circuit a continuous and a closed path of an electric current is called as circuit a continuous and a closed path i am considering here our simple circuit draw this simple circuit in your textbook sorry in notes a continuous and a closed pathway a continuous and a closed pathway a continuous and a closed pathway of flow of electric charges is known as a circuit here it is a lamp this is the key this is the battery this is the positive end then that is the negative end this is the simple circuit diagram what is a circuit a continuous and a closed path of an electric current is called as electric circuit so i am considering here electric current that is denoted by i see listen here some of the amount of the charges will flow from the positive terminal of the battery towards negative terminal that flow of the charges is called it as electric current okay so we have to find out electric current how much of amount of electric current will be utilized by this bulb to a glow is by calc by using the formula electric current is equal to that is i is equal to q by t because we know that what is electric current the rate of flow of charges in a unit time is called it as electric current okay so now, now i am considering some amount of the charges it may be a 20 column 20 column of the charges will flow about a time of 3 minutes uh, how much of the electric current will be utilized to glow the light that will be asked in your in your examination two marks questions now we are going to discuss some of the problems on that by using electric current formula so in the in that case in some cases they may ask electric current they if they give charge and time they are going to ask electric current if they are going to charge if they are going to electric current if they if they give electric current that is i and they give the time t then they are going to ask 
what is q is equal to what that is how much charges will be flow through the conductor by using as again we are going to calculate this problem by using the formula q is equal to i into t q is equal to i into t okay then again in another case if they are going to give electric current and the charges they are going to ask the time so again using another one formula that is a time t is equal to time t is equal to i time t is equal to q by i by using this formula we are going to calculate the time you are going to calculate the time so next we are going to discuss some of the problems on this formula electric current electric current i is equal to q by t so based on this formula now we are going to study some examples on that take down now consider first example calculate calculate current supplied by calculate current supplied by current supplied by a cell a cell if the amount of if the amount of charge if the amount of charge passing passing through the cell passing through the cell in a 2 minutes in a 2 minutes is 240 coulomb see listen students from this chapter this type of questions should be asked for your examination for 2 marks so you have to concentrate it is a very 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 simple questions and you can get two marks from this question so you have to understand the question first what they are going to ask for you and you have to write down the given data what they are going to give to calculate to you and you are going to assess which what what is the factor they are going to ask for you okay first i am consider see solution given what they are given here once again you have to look at the question calculate the current is supplied by a cell if the amount of charge passing through the cell is to in a 2 minutes is 240 coulomb that is they give charge q is equal to 240 coulomb and also they give the time t is equal to 2 minutes and what they are asked yes they asked the electric current ask i is equal to what yes as we know already the formula i is equal to q by t yes here q is equal to 240 coulomb divided by t is here 2 minutes we have to convert this minutes in terms of seconds that is equal to 2 into 60 seconds that is t is equal to 120 seconds so here it is 120 this zero this zero get cancel that is i is equal to 24 divided by 12 12 ones are 12 twos are i is equal to 2 to what it is to 2 ampere the si unit of electric current is ampere so we should write the unit in your examination also you should concentrate on the answer you have to write the unit if you are not write this unit you are going to lose your marks 
you are going to lose one marks so it is a very simple question it can be asked for your examination for two marks you have to concentrate these type of problems again look back what they are given what they are asked it is very simple to solve okay next we are going to consider another one example another example second one what will be the time taken what will be the time taken what will be the time taken of of current drawn from of current drawn off 0.74104 micro ampere micro ampere by the net value by the net value of by the net value of electric charge by the net value of electric charge as 1000 coulomb so once again you have to read the question carefully what will be the time taken of current drawn of 0.7410 micro ampere by the net value of electric charge as 100000 coulomb see again see the solution again write down the given data what they are given here yes they given charge q is equal to q is equal to 1000 coulomb and they give electric current i is equal to i is equal to 0.74104 micro ampere micro ampere and then see my micro ampere means 0.74104 into 10 raised to minus 6 amperes okay see what we are going to calculate the time t is equal to what see again by the formula given formula t is equal to t is equal to q by i isn't it substitute the given data in the formula q is equal to what q is equal to 1000 divided by 0.74104 into 10 raise to minus 6 why i am taking here into 10 raise to minus 6 because 1 milli ampere or 1 ampere is equal to 10 raise to minus 6 micro ampere so that's why i am taking here 0.74104 into 10 raised to minus 6 amperes so again look at the examples see how we are going to easily solve this one 1000 it is nothing but we are going to write it as 10 raised to 3 divided by 0.74104 into 10 raised to minus 6 transfer this 10 raised to minus 6 to the numerator it becomes positive 1 into 10 raised to 3 into 10 raised to 6 divided by 0.74104 that is equal to 1 divided by 0.74104 into 10 raised to 
10 raise to 3 into 10 raise to 6 that is a raise to m into a raise to n a raise to m plus n 10 raise to 3 into 10 raise to 6 it is nothing but 10 raise to 6 plus 3 that is 10 raise to 9. So that is equal to that is time t is equal to 1.3 three four nine into ten raised to nine seconds this is the final answer what we get okay see basis of based on this formula they are going to give you some examples they are going to ask some examples in your uh, final examination slc examination so you have to concentrate more on this formula you have to remember this formula you can easily get the two marks now we can consider another one example third example In how much time in how much time six thousand six thousand column of six thousand column of electric charge electric charge will flow will flow if an if an electric current of if an electric current of if an electric current of 10 ampere is drawn is drawn through an electric through an electric motor once again you have to read the question in how much time they are going to ask the time t is equal to what in how much time 6000 coulomb of electric 6000 coulomb they are given charge q is equal to 6000 coulomb 6000 coulomb of electric charge will be flow if an electric current of 10 ampere electric current i is equal to 10 ampere is drawn through an electric motor so solution again what they are given here write down the given that as given q is equal to 6000 coulomb and i is equal to 10 amps and what they ask ask t is equal to what again we know the formula t is equal to q by i that is substitute the, the given values q is equal to 6000 coulomb divided the time that sorry that is i electric current 10 amps this zero this zero get cancel that is 600 seconds these are very simple problems which are asked in your examination for two marks question you have to concentrate on this formula if you remember this formula it is very easy to get a two marks you have to concentrate on this formula i is equal to q by t that is electric current i is equal to q by t okay so in the next class we are going to study continued part of this session thank you